And boom, loop is completed. And oh no, oh we just derailed, no. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And then, oh, I can get lost in the town building aspect of this. <laughs> I could forget that it's even a train game. I could sit here and just do this all day. Yeah, we are on a roller coaster here. Oh, oh, oh. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys my first impressions of Train Frontier Classic. Now this is a pretty cool little train game that I found on Steam. It's kind of similar to the game Tracks, which was a wooden train game where you would set up your own little tracks and you could drive around with the wooden trains in like a, a living room setting. Well this is kind of like that, except for this is on a, I would say a much bigger scale. Uh, you can build some ridiculous tracks, you can build cities, you can build mountains. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain without jumping straight into the gameplay. So we're going to do that here today. Uh, there is some multiplayer to this. This might be something that would be kind of fun with friends. I don't know if this is going to stick around. We'll see what you guys think of this game. So yeah, if you're enjoying this game and you want to see more of it, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Alright, so here we are. This is our blank canvas. It's nothing much right now, but... You can pretty much build anything that you can imagine. You want to build a big city, you can do that. You want to build a small town, you can do that. You can do industrial areas, forest, mountains, whatever you want to do here. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and start placing down some tracks. Uh, the tracks are really easy to place. So you pick a spot and you just start clicking the left mouse button. And the turning and everything is done by just pointing. So say you want a kind of a slow turn. We'll go here. And you can see it starts to curve the track. We'll keep turning, turning, we'll make it sharp here. And you kind of use the grid pattern as a, uh, you can kind of tell where exactly you're going. Actually, are we a little off angle there? Nah, we're good. A little kink in the track. And as you can see, the train will start to test the tracks. Now, I don't know if there's a, besides not having tracks, uh, there's ways to crash the train. I don't know if it can take corners too fast or say if it's too steep of an elevation change. Uh, that might happen. Uh, train? Don't think about it. Okay, so it's like, it's trying to figure out what's going on here. It's kind of stuck at the corner. But yeah, so we've got our little piece of track here. We got Mr. Train. Now you can set up your trains however you want. You can add a ton, I think up to like 10 cards or something. And you can actually drive your trains. Not really sure what he's doing here. He seems to be stuck at this corner. Let's see if he powers through it here in a second. But yeah, another thing that you can do, uh, say you want to start playing with the terrain. So say this is kind of boring, we just got a simple turn here. Uh, we can go in, and let's make a mountain. So we'll raise up the terrain, and you can see that it automatically builds this tunnel. Which is really cool looking. Uh, so let's go ahead and, eh, let's raise this up. It won't be quite a mountain, we'll just call it like a, call it a big hill or a cliff or something. So let's go all the way up here. Kind of build up around it, make it look like it's a little bit more natural. Uh, fear not, you can go in here and actually paint the terrain, because I know it looks kind of odd having like a straight up green hill. The train? Oh, it's, I guess it learned, uh-oh. Uh, uh, we can fix that. Okay, so I, I'm assuming it was learning the course. We'll see if it gets stuck at that corner again. Uh, we might have to change that up a bit. But yeah, uh, you can go in here. Let's go ahead and paint. What's auto paint? I don't know, we'll mess with that here in a second. Uh, so we can go up here, kind of paint, maybe, maybe it's like a snowy caps on the mountain up here. Uh, what does auto paint do? Um, okay, I just turned it green again. Now, uh, what's this? Is this, uh, it looks like rock, so yeah, we got like a rocky mountain right here. We're gonna add some trees around here. Uh, I keep saying mountain, that's not much of a mountain. Uh, where's our train at? Did it start back up? Is it in the tunnel? Oh, it is. Alright, so it's setting in the tunnel. I think it just goes around and starts to test the track out. Uh, we'll be able to drive it here in a second. So, let's go ahead and do some more tracks. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, we'll probably do a simple loop. Now, I'm pretty sure you can make, make it to where the track breaks off and you can have multiple routes. Uh, but we're going to go with a simple, almost like a circle. Now, another thing that you can do... Uh, from what I've seen from the screenshots, you can get crazy here. You're not limited to just realistic looking tracks. So say if you want to go crazy with this, uh, we'll go ahead and grab this piece here. Uh, you can basically make this thing like a, a roller coaster. Uh, you can get pretty ridiculous with it. So 
We can go up there, there, there. Here comes our train. Guess he's gonna get to test this. Uh, yeah. I, I would hope you wouldn't see tracks like this, but you know, you can kind of do whatever you want in the game. So, got that big hill here. I can picture like a river running through here. That would look kind of cool. Uh, that might be a thing. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna go over there. He'll eventually come up through this. If not, we'll uh, manually drive the train. Uh, let's go over here. We're gonna lay out some more tracks. Now, I mentioned some sort of city building, and that's uh, very possible too. So we're gonna do a little straightaway here, and we can go ahead and start placing down some props. So besides the terrain, uh, oh, I don't wanna toggle that. Oh, okay, that's something new. I actually didn't know about that. Uh, they have a map view where you can go just straight up above. That might actually help for some gridding right there if you need to uh, be really precise with the track. Okay, so we've got different props here, and this is where the game is really impressive to me. Uh, look at the amount of props here. We've got everything from billboards, agriculture, commercial, uh, industrial buildings, uh, mining, residential buildings. I mean, there is an insane amount of buildings in here. Uh, you've got stations here, characters, uh, communications like power lines, foliage, actually we have a ton of that, power, road section, so you can pretty much build a town here. So say, uh, I don't know if we have a little train crossing here, oh, actually I've never seen the overpass before, that's kind of cool looking. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I gotta figure this out a little bit, this is still a little new to me. Does this snap on? Okay, so I think that kind of does. Uh, let's grab another road piece here. Uh, this one. This is what I want. Okay, so we can rotate this around. This would be like a train crossing. So I'm assuming if we just fed it right through like that. So we got a little train crossing here. I know we have a uh, actual signage for that. Uh, we might even have the gates. Oh, we do have the gates. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, where is that at? There we go. Question is, does this actually work? Uh, do, can I place these on here? Will it recognize that? I don't know if that works with it or not, but we're gonna stick them down because it looks cool. I guess we'll see when the train passes by here in a second. Uh, get that around there. Cool. Maybe we do need to attach that to the road. I don't know, we'll stick them there and there. Uh, maybe if the train gets within a certain distance, it'll know to start those. So yeah, you've got that. Uh, we can go back. Let's go ahead and grab some more road. Oh, these are parking lots too. Huh, didn't know it had those. All right, so we got square road pieces. We're gonna go ahead and lay out some road here. Probably need a station somewhere. Maybe we'll build a station here right beside it. Maybe right beside the crossing. Uh, does the train, do the little signals go down? Huh, there's bound to be a way to make those go down. Uh, they're, I think they're in the correct position. But anyways, we've got this. The train's gonna go over there and derail again because that's uh, what it loves to do. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a train station. All right, so we got our little train station here. Uh, what's the front? I guess the platform needs to be towards the back. Do we have something for a platform? Let's go ahead and stick the train station right here. There we go. And then I saw some... Uh, Let's see, I saw some parking lots. Maybe we'll add some of those over here. Actually, let's put one of these characters down real quick. Uh, we'll put her right here, there we go. This is like a little diorama or something of a train. I've always wanted one of those when I was a kid, except for the real fancy ones are extremely, extremely expensive. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be dropping a whole bunch of money. So I always got those little cheap plastic sets, which those did the job, those weren't bad. All right, so we have a little station here. We have a nice little parking lot. Uh, we're gonna build a intersection over here. So let's get the uh, four-way, like a normal stop sign. I do believe you can actually drive the cars too, which that's really cool. Uh, where's that straight piece of road? Let's go and grab this. Now there's bound to be like an opening, maybe like a three-way stop sign would do. That way, say if you need to get into the parking lot here. Uh, let me see if I can find one of those real quick because that would be actually really useful. Maybe something like this. Is that is that proper? Would you have a stop sign? You really wouldn't have a stop sign there. Is there a three-way piece without the stop signs? Uh, that would be kind of cool to have. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Okay, I found a four-way piece that we can go ahead and use. Maybe we'll stick some businesses or something here. 
over on the other side. So let's grab that. Uh, we're going to stick some more road over here. So it's going to pass by the rest of that. And then... Oh, I can get lost in the town building aspect of this. <laughs> I could forget that it's even a train game. I could sit here and just do this all day. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this over here. There we go. Boom. Boom. I think our train just derailed again. How do we delete? Oh, there we go. I need to get rid of that. Oh, that exploded. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we're going to add some commercial buildings over here. Uh, let's see what we've got. Maybe some cool businesses. And then we'll add some uh, some vegetation over to this area. And then we'll continue our little train track. Alright, so I found some commercial buildings. I don't feel like this is a really big area. So maybe we'll stick to smaller buildings. we got like a nice little corner store here that we're going to add in. So let's go ahead and turn that. Let's go ahead and stick it on the corner here. There we go. Love how everything just lines up and snaps together really easy. I can appreciate that about games. Sometimes you get these building games where it's really hard to play stuff. Uh, do we not stick these all together? We'll stick them kind of close together. Now one thing would be kind of cool if you can randomize the buildings. I still hear it blowing up. It blew up again. Where'd it go? That Oh, there it is. Oh, it made it a lot. <laughs> it made it pretty far that time. It blew up out there. Uh, so we'll stick a couple of these buildings and we'll just stick like a town hall or something here. Uh, nothing too fancy. I really should be showing you guys more about the train aspects opposed to this. So let me go ahead and find a little bit of shrubbery real quick. Uh, we'll decorate the area. And maybe we can do some of the auto city. I don't know. It kind of builds a little big for me. But uh, let's see. Let me find some vegetation. And then we'll add that in. And then we'll kind of move on to uh, some more train building here. Okay. So we're ready to continue. I did add some more props here. Make this little area look a bit more alive. So... Uh, we're going to continue on here. Uh, we want to change this up. I can always go back and change the elevation. Uh, I think we're going to go into, say, a big forest here. So maybe we'll kind of do a big, long curve here. Uh, I don't want to go too, too much building because I do want to create a circuit uh, for this video. That way you guys can see how to drive the trains and set them up. So... Uh, we'll go ahead and curve out here. We'll do a fairly sharp corner over here. And then we'll take a... Let's go with another left over here. And then we're going to loop back around. So we've got our little... Our start of a mountain. I'm actually going to build that up just a bit. And then we'll kind of make these tracks... Uh, they're going to curve into them here. So let's go... How easy is it to connect these? Oh, that was it. So that's connected. So say if we want to make like another train line, we can branch off from here. So say we're going to go through the mountain here, or you can have a little bypass, uh, take the long way around the mountain if you want to go through this area. That is cool. So when you're driving the train, I think you can actually hit the switches and decide which way you're going to go. Uh, but anyways, we got that. So it looks like he's getting around there. This is going to look a lot better once we get a lot of train cars on there. Um, do I want to change the elevation? I feel like I need to work on this mountain a bit more. So we're going to raise the terrain a bit more, almost all the way to the bridge over here. So let's go with one big tunnel. Pretty sure there's a way to make this bigger as far as the circle. Uh, maybe there isn't. It would be nice if there's a little circle tool. I could be missing it. So let's go all the way. We'll kind of cover it up. I'm going to spread out a bunch of the tree groups through here too. Uh, so you'll have those. So we can do that. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to have all those. Uh, we'll kind of make the mountain go up through here. And we'll make it hilly on this side. There we go. Maybe this will be like a little mountain pass. Almost like a little valley that the train can come through. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build up through here. And we'll build up a little on, a little on this side. There we go. So train's going to go through there. Question is, which way is he going to go? Uh, uh oh, <laughs> he's going to go crash himself again. All right, that's a thing. Uh, we have a train that really doesn't care about life too much. It's just ready to go off. So say there could be a, like a little mine over here. So we're going to place a couple mine props. Uh, we'll put that there. There's some other mine stuff. Maybe we'll put a little storage shed over here. Probably need to turn some of this. Whoa, that is a big... Oh, it's a coal tower. That is huge, actually. Uh, we'll stick that over there. That kind of dwarfs my mountain, does it not? 
<laughs> I feel like we need a bigger mountain. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Let's see how much we can peak this mountain. Let's go big peak here. Big peak. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Let's kind of build it out maybe maybe this way a bit. And that's nice. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of tree placement through here real quick and just try to make this trail look a lot nicer so that way when we drive this train, we get kind of a, like some epic scenery here. All right, so we are almost ready to go here. I know it looks like we've actually done a whole lot, but this is probably one of the most easy city style builders that I've ever experienced. Uh, these props are easy to place. Uh, we built a little town area. Uh, now, so one more thing I want to experiment with here. Uh, there's a residential automatic builder. So say if we wanted to build like a neighborhood over here uh, in the distance from the train. So, oh yeah. So you just hold this down. There you go. The house is in. Uh, this will look good as just being like background uh, scenery. So let's go there. Go. It's going to place those houses there. Then you can go in here and add fine details, add some uh, cars. Uh, I guess I could probably connect town into this area too if I wanted to. Uh, so let's do let's do one more of those. There we go. So we're gonna have plenty of scenery uh, once we start driving the train here. Uh, I do apologize that this has turned into like a a city building episode opposed to a uh, a train episode, but I'm having a lot of fun with this actually. Uh, this was definitely worth the money. So, anyways, we're gonna place these there. That should be a uh, good as far as what we have here. Uh, when you're driving along the train. Maybe I'll add some trees through here. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and make a couple more little modifications track-wise here. So we're going to raise some track. Let's go ahead. We're going to go all the way kind of down towards... Eh, it wouldn't feel appropriate over here. Maybe over here through this area. Or actually, let's go... Uh, let's raise this area right here. I'm trying to figure out if there's like, either if I lower the terrain, I wonder if water develops because uh, I would like to actually have maybe a river or something through here. I feel like that would be kind of cool. Uh, so let's do that. So let's say the alternate route. Let's go ahead and raise that up. I'm actually going to connect this here. That way, if we make a loop, we, will, we can actually choose multiple routes and we'll have something else to do here. So this will be like a, this will be the mountain pass. You can go right through it or you can go around it. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and continue our track here. So we're gonna go take a the long way around But maybe it's a little bit safer. I don't know. I don't know that little elevation change didn't look too safe uh, Where do we want this to connect in? I think I'm gonna shoot the gap here between the power lines There we go. Boom. So we are connected in so we have tracks that are connected Okay, kind of look at this little grid view down here Looks good. I don't really have anything laid out over here. The last thing I want to do here, uh, I'm probably going to screw with the terrain a little bit more. Actually, where did our track go here? It's one thing I noticed. Whenever you uh, start to raise the track up, it seems to make some of it kind of disappear. So let's go back in. There we go. Should be good. Okay, so we are almost ready here to set up our train. Let me go ahead and paint a little bit more terrain. And then I'll, uh, I'm will i going to go ahead and add some trees here, and then we'll set the train up. And we'll get into some, uh, probably into some trouble. Because I have a feeling I'm going to crash. Uh, we'll, we'll see how good our train tracks are. Alright, so I just found something that was kind of neat. I had a suspicion if I lowered the terrain, I would get water. Uh, it is doing that. Now, admittedly, it would be kind of cool to have it to where you can raise the water level up a bit. Because uh, it does look kind of, that's a pretty steep dip. Uh, maybe it's not that bad. Looks good though. So yeah, well yeah, we'll actually be able to have a bridge that goes over water. I keep getting sidetracked with everything but the actual trains here. So I'm gonna place down some more trees. We're gonna set up our train, and then we should be ready to go here to have a little bit of a train adventure. So let's go ahead and move those. There we go. Okay, so you've got your little modes up here. Of course, we got the builder, which we've been doing the whole time. You've got the conductor, where you can ride your own train. And then you've got the train set up here. So that's something we want to do. Multiplayer, there's, uh, oh yeah, you can host matches. Maybe we'll do this with some uh, some of the guys, see who actually picks up the game. So yeah, here's your train setup. We're going to start off here with an engine, and some of these look actually really kind of cool. Uh, hmm, what do we want to pick here? I'm going to pick, let's go with this one. So that's going to be that. 
We'll go to our second cart. So yeah, you can have up to 10 carts here. Normally a train is followed, or at least an engine, normally has one more engine. So can we do that? Is there a backwards one? Is there an option to do that? No. Uh, let's go to three. Hmm, do we want to be a passenger train? Or do we, yeah, let's go ahead and be a passenger train. Let's go ahead and carry a, let's go up four carts there. Uh, do we have a, actually maybe I could use one of these engines over here in the back. Now oh, let's uh, vary it up a little bit here at the end. Even though I know a train cart probably wouldn't have tankers on the back of it. But it doesn't matter. It's a game. We can do whatever we want. Uh, let's go ahead and add that. Add like a boxcar. Then we'll add a caboose. Alright, so we have a train. Pretty big. We're going to use all ten. So we should be ready to ride the train. So we're in like a little free, free camera. Where's our train at? Uh, is it back down in the tunnel? This actually looks pretty cool. Uh, or at least I think it looks pretty cool. Maybe I did a good job here. I don't know. If I spent a lot of time with this, I probably can make this look better. So, uh, oh, okay. Searching for my train. Where's my train at? Did it already derail somewhere? Are we in the water? Uh, let's see if we can find it. Let's go cab. Oh, can we just place it? Oh, we get to place it down. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's our train. All right, there's all ten carts. Track looks a little, we'll call it wonky. <laughs> it looks a little sideways, but anyways. Uh, we can actually, let's go inside here. Check this out. We're actually in the train. Uh, that looks cool. Okay, so we're in the train. Let's go ahead. Let's give this thing some throttle here. Uh, we can honk the, uh, honk the horn. So, let them know we're coming up to a crossing. Now, this is always kind of cool in these type of games. This puts everything really in perspective here. The fact that we're now down to ground level. So, you can truly see how big some of the buildings are. Uh, let's go to, like, a follow camera here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we're passing through the little town we built. I really wish I could make those rail crossings smooth. Passing by the really generic looking neighborhood over here. All right, let's go ahead and pick up some speed. Let's, let's give this thing a, uh, let's go into overdrive here. There we go. Coming up to the forest. Now, as far as switching the tracks, how do we, okay, so it's uh, A and D. So we're actually, no, we're gonna go over the water. I'm gonna go back to the cab view. I really like that, actually. Oh, that's cool. So we're just kind of passing through the forest here. So I need to go, we need to go right, and we'll be able to pick up and go over the, uh, over the lake area. It's kind of hard to see out of this train, actually. Uh, oh, so we got these other options over here. We have figurine and vehicle. So I do think we can go drive cars in the town. Actually, we're coming up. Uh, let's go to follow cam here. Uh-oh, what does that mean? Are we going too fast? Or do I have the brake applied? Uh, nope, nope, what is that? Uh, nope, okay, maybe the brake was applied. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, we're going to bypass the tunnel. I'm not a very good train operator, engineer, conductor, person. Uh, but we're chugging along here. I'm watching the back carts. Everything's sparking. Do I have the brake engaged? So, is that... Okay, brake's released. Okay. Okay, I'm getting how to work this. All right, so we're gonna pass over the uh, the really odd looking lake. Now we're about to do something. We're gonna go crazy with this. This was just kind of a, I would say a semi, well actually I don't wanna say semi realistic. Uh, we had a, a nice little setup here, nice calm track. But we're gonna have a roller coaster rail and I'll just build it in this area. I'll break it off from this uh, main area and we'll go crazy. We'll see what we can really do in this game. And here we go, about to complete the loop. And boom, loop is completed. And oh no, oh we just derailed. No, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And up, oh. and we burst it. Up, oh, it's all bursting into flames. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Oh, the humanity. Oh, we're dying. Wow. Okay, so we had our peaceful little ride that ended in disaster. Uh, we're gonna make another little section of course here. Uh, we're gonna call this the Doom Trail. So let's go ahead. It really doesn't have to. It really doesn't matter what I do here, as far as how. Actually, how far can we go out? This map's actually quite big. Wow, it actually is really big. I didn't realize that. I think we can go all the way out to the mountains out there. Uh, let's make this thing go out that way. Yep, still seeing grid patterns. Okay, I give you kind of an idea as to how far you can go. 
Not bad. You can have a really big train system. Probably multiple towns, uh, farms, all that. But we're not here for that right now. We're here to see how extreme we can get. So let's go through here. Let's go through here. And then we're just going to loop around. I don't know how I'm getting promoted, but whatever. Let's go here and here. There we go. So we connected this in. Nice, calm, peaceful looking track. Except for when I finally get a hold of it here. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go extreme here. How high can we get these tracks? Okay, there we go. Why? Why would you have this? Oh, this is going to be a roller coaster. I probably should have made some sharper corners in here. All right, let's go through there. And we're going to pick one of the modern trains. I think some of the trains are possibly faster. So we'll check that out and see, uh, see what kind of speed we can get going here. I saw some of the screenshots of the game. Uh, you can continue to do this as far as raising this track. So we'll keep going here. Keep going here. Yeah, buddy. You've never seen track like that, have you? That is going to be insane. Let's go ahead and make another hump right here. So this should make it to where we can, we can kind of de defy gravity and physics here by having a train track that does this. Because why not? Why would you not have this in the background? That is crazy looking. Okay, so we've gone a little nutty here. We have the Doom Loop. So we got the big hill, which the train is oddly enough getting over. It's doing it slowly, but it's doing it. So you got like a big roller coaster hill here, goes down, <laughs> got a little hump over here. You got another kind of big roller coaster hill right here. And then we go all the way down into the Tunnel of Doom, comes back out, does another, uh, Another little bump here, and guess what? Once you get on this loop, there's no way off. So you get in here, and you're done. <laughs> no way back onto the normal loop. So anyways, let's go ahead and play with another train here. Okay, so what looks fast? This down here looks fast. Let's do that. And does this one have... Okay, this actually has a passenger cart, so let's go... Let's go with about... Let's go with maybe seven here so this looks like a passenger train but this looks faster so let's go into here let's go ride our train i don't know if we can have multiple trains of course it's got multiplayer in it so that's something but i don't know if you can do that in single player maybe have multiple trains going but anyways let's go ahead actually we'll start it off here uh not on the doom rail we'll get some momentum so let's put our train in here oh what's the uh what's the interior look like on this one Oh, I can see a lot better out of this thing. This is actually kind of nice. All right, so let's uh, let's kick this four. Uh, is this thing any faster? Is the question. Might need to get some momentum here. Come on, come on. Is do I have a break? Kind of looks like I have a break engaged. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're doing it. This one actually doesn't seem much faster, even though it looks like a faster train. Uh oh kind of in the ground a little bit there uh oh no actually i think we're getting oh we're definitely getting over uh better than the test train was doing so yeah we are on a roller coaster here oh 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 here we go <laughs> let's go ahead and ride inside of it real quick oh this would be terrifying why would you do this uh oh no <laughs> Apparently we went too fast. Dang, that's pretty awesome. I have to learn the train controls a little bit more. I, I feel like there's something I'm missing. So yeah, you've got that, you got your multiplayer, you can save. I know eventually they're gonna have it where you can share maps. I don't know if it's gonna have workshop support. That might be a thing in the future. Uh, not 100% sure, but yeah, I can picture this being something that we actually go back to. This was actually, it's pretty fun, I mean, it could be something where I turn it into, we just create a map and we'll do like a Let's Play series on it. Maybe actually go into detail, do some towns, stuff like that. Depending on if you guys want to see more of this. But yeah, uh, comment below if you want to see more. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know. Uh, maybe I can get somebody else in and we might try some multiplayer out. I don't know how fun it is. It might be fun. might be boring. <laughs> Not sure. We'll probably just wind up turning trains around and running, running them into each other. But yeah. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.